The secret behind Elon Musk's motive of selling 20 million Tesla by 2030 lies in its fresh battery technology. In today's video, we are going to talk about Tesla's new renewable batteries. Stay tuned to know more. According to battery experts, by using bigger cells and a new method to dry coat electrodes, Tesla could have the cost of a Model Y battery and save more than 8% of the car's U.S. starting price. However, according to some other experts close to Tesla or familiar with its new technology, Tesla is only halfway there. This is because the dry coating method used to generate the bigger cells in Tesla's 4680 battery is so modern and unproven that the firm is having trouble scaling up manufacturing to the point where the big cost savings kick in. According to reports, Tesla is not ready for mass production. But the profits Tesla has already made in cutting battery production costs in the past two years could help in boosting revenues and expand its lead over EV rivals. Elon Musk's promised improvements in battery cost and performance are observed as important to Tesla's quest to lead in a period where it can sell a $25,000 EV for a profit and stand for a better opportunity of attending its 2030 targets. Battery systems are the most costly single element in most EVs, so making lower-cost, high-performance packs is important to producing cheap electric cars that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with combustion engine opponents on sticker prices. Tesla amassed the know-how in 2019 when it paid more than $200 million for Maxwell Technologies, which store energy for devices that need sharp bursts of electricity, such as camera flashes. Building on Maxwell's technology, Tesla started making 4680 dry cells this year, first in a pilot near its Fremont, California plant, and more recently at its new international headquarters in Austin, Texas. The technology allows Tesla to dump the older, more complex and costly wet coating procedure. It's costly because it requires a large amount of electricity, machinery, factory space, time, and a large labor force. To coat electrodes in the wet process, battery producers blend the materials with toxic binder solvents. Once coated, the electrodes are dried in massive ovens, with the toxic solutions that vanish in the process being recovered, treated, and recycled while all adding more to the cost. With the new technology, electrodes are coated using different binders with limited use of liquids so they don't need to be dried. This means it's cheaper, faster, and also more environmentally friendly. Because of its clearness, the process allows Tesla to cut primary spending by a third and slash both the footprint of a plant and its energy consumption to a tenth of what would be required for the wet process. However, the firm has had trouble commercializing the process. The challenge with coating electrodes for EV batteries is that they are much bigger and thicker, which makes it tough to coat them with constant quality at mass production speeds. According to a source, Tesla can produce in small volume, but when they started big volume production, they ended up with too many rejects. Production yields were so low that all the predicted cost savings from the new procedure were lost. If all the possible efficiencies from dry coating and the bigger cells are realized, the manufacturing cost for the Model Y's 4680 battery pack should fall to $5,000 to $5,500, which is around half the cost of the 2170 pack. The rising cost of battery materials and energy present a risk to those predictions, however, and Tesla has not yet been able to improve the new battery's energy density or the quantity of power it packs, as Elon Musk has promised. Still, despite those factors, the savings Tesla is believed to achieve will end up making the 4680 battery the industry's best in class for the upcoming future. Much of the $2,000 to $3,000 cost savings earned with the 4680 battery has come from other advancements, and using larger cells has proven extremely powerful. The 4680 cells are 5.5 times bigger than the size of the 2170 cells by volume. The older cylindrical cells measure 21 millimeters in diameter and 70 millimeters in height. The 4680 cells have a 46 millimeter diameter and are 80 millimeters high. With the former technology, Tesla required 4,400 cells to power the Model Y, and there are 17,600 points that desire to be welded to develop a pack that can be mixed into the car. The 4680 battery pack just needs 830 cells, and Tesla has changed the design so that there are only two weld points per cell, slashing the welding to 1,660 points and leading to important cost savings. The simple design also means that there are limited connectors and other components, which has allowed Tesla to save more on labor costs and machine time. Another source of efficiency has been the bigger cell's far sturdier outer case. 
Tesla can now tie the cells together into a rigid honeycomb-like pack, which is then attached directly to the inner body structure of the Model Y. This also removes the intermediate step of bundling cells into bigger modules, which are then installed in a traditional battery pack. By changing positions to this cell-to-vehicle design, Tesla can decrease the weight of a traditional 1,200-pound battery pack by 55 pounds or more and save almost five to $600 per pack. But mastering the dry coating technique stays as the holy move. With that being said, it's time to end our today's video. Press the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting stuff. Peace.